All right, we'll give this a minute or two here. Like I usually do. Okay, the little thing came up there. All right, saying about people watching. Um, if you can hear me okay and everything, please say I can hear you just fine or type something in the comment section to let me know. I would appreciate that. Just want to make sure my audio is good before I get into it. You can just type real quick there. Um, that I'm, everything sounds good. Loud and clear, good. Okay. Um, and I saw one of you said, is it Brian or Brian? B-R-Y-A-N, it's B-R-Y-A-N. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get right into it here. Um, yeah. Uh, I was going to do a live stream about this. This is 13 days ago. I just had a lot of other things to do. Um, but this is a weird one here. Uh, I'd like to have people write in the comments what you think about this one. This is kind of an odd one. Russia bombs New York using new Fab 3000 bomb. Big attack is fight and Donbass escalates. I'm not going to play the video there. You can watch it yourself if you want to. But uh, I was think I saw this come up Times of India and I thought, they bombed New York? What? You know, and, and uh, it's not the New York that we think about. It's actually New York, uh, or it's actually, this is not the real name. It's some investigation into it, but it's in the, it's in Ukraine. They actually had a town that was called New York, and then they renamed it uh, New Town, I think. I, don't, I can't speak the language over there, but it's actually called New Town. So they didn't actually bomb New York, but I'm thinking, is this some kind of little predictive programming thing? Hey, it's actually going to be New York that gets bombed in the future by Russia. I don't know. But it was really weird because I watched one of the reports on this thing of New York, and they showed that there was a German immigrant. They think he might have been Mennonite that uh, went to New York in America, and he wanted to make his town that he was moving to in, U in Ukraine, he wanted to make it like New York, so he named it New York. And they showed this um, grave of this guy that's buried in New York, Ukraine, and it was an obelisk. And I thought, hmm, a little Masonic uh, thing there. So wanted to put that out there. Uh, just kind of a weird little thing that they are bombing this New York. And I think that they've actually taken over the area now. So it's in the hands of Russia at this point in time. But um, very, very weird some interesting things that we've been discussing as a family about the thing of the Eastern and the Western um, feet, the feet of iron and clay, um, and miry clay, excuse me, in the book of Daniel, the fifth kingdom, and um, how that there seems to be a Eastern and a Western new world order. And uh, they're going about their ways and, you know, it's part strong, part weak. They're fighting between the two, the BRICS versus NATO, you know, the NATO being, of course, the, the Western, foot of of the kingdom and the bricks being the eastern foot more coming out on that in the future as we do some investigation but of course the big thing here the donald trump assassination attempt i have some interesting thoughts on that i've been watching a bunch of videos on this and i'm i haven't seen anybody mention this yet so i'm going to give you my theory on what is going on but coincidentally um just four days ago YouTube removed this video right here, the 100% sure word of prophecy, all right? And all I said in the thing, the little area where it was, is I talked about a, um, uh, the thing of the, you know, shot in the shoulder, and I said, it'll be for your good, and I just went like that. That's all I said. I didn't say don't get it, or it's a toxic, poisonous thing. I didn't say anything of the kind. I just simply just said, oh, you know, don't be putting a shot in your shoulder and just kind of like that. And it was offensive and they had to take it down. But if you saw the video, you would know that I actually was prophesying the igniting the right movement, that that's what it was all about. OK, right here it is. You can see that on this backup channel, the brother runs for me over here. Um, a lot of my videos. Uh, that they take down are still here on this channel 
okay and there's other channels that have mirrored it as well so you can find it but um right there i have you can see at the bottom right here it says ignite the right and i go through the whole thing and i said it, you know they're going to use trump trump is an actor he's going to be used to uh get people fired up and, and divide the country split the country and you know there's a lot more happening since then but that study right there they just took it down four days ago and then we, now we have this whole thing of trump uh being shot in the ear so to speak which i'm going to be saying some things about that um very bizarre very bizarre indeed but i just saw this video here from paul joseph watson not recommending his channel guy's got a filthy mouth but this here i saw this and i thought okay this is really really bizarre okay um this is Israeli Special Operations veteran Aaron Cohen says God must have been watching down on the president. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's watch this little thing here. Watching down. In the end, they're not coming after me. They're coming after you. And I'm just standing in their way. Really makes you think. And I saw Trump rising up. And then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that the, This bullet flew by his ear. And it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. Some people. Are... <laughs> OK, he got radically born again during this whole thing. But look at this three months ago. Huh? Now, he didn't say it hit his ear. But he said it went by his his ear, his right ear there, and you know, and it busted his eardrum and whatever else. Huh? And of course, there's people coming out. You know, you you actually watch the video of the whole thing, and there are people coming out. They're saying, "There's a guy up on the roof. He's right there. He's got a gun. Uh, there's gun." And the, and the police are going, "Huh? What? Huh? Huh?" <laughs> you know, and oh, everybody's kind of pointing to the fact that okay, this doesn't make any sense. Um, why is you know it's a perfect building to shoot from you know and it would be a good vantage point and the secret service just doesn't have them to be there and huh i don't know but you know i was thinking about this and i thought okay this yeah there's a lot that doesn't work out as usual anytime it's reported in mainstream media there's stuff that doesn't work out but you know i'm thinking to myself okay it's planned i guess all right yeah there's definitely some stuff here kind of looking that way but I'm thinking, you know, and again, you have the whole thing of the Antichrist, you know, the his right eye is darkened, you know, and so it's, you know, near the right ear and everything. But I'm thinking, OK, they planned this thing. How can you plan to shoot Trump in the ear? I think they said it was about a 100 meters shot. How can you shoot him in the ear with suppose I think they said it was an AR-15, 5.56 five, round, two two three caliber. How can they shoot him in the ear from 100 kilometers or 100 meters away? Excuse me, 100 meters away. Um, that's not possible. OK, I have been shooting guns since I was a boy and I've been very interested in in. Uh, precision shooting of bolt action rifles, target barrels, the whole thing. Uh, I'll actually show you a little funny thing here years ago down at the. My property, I forgot my keys and I had to get into one one building that had a padlock on it. And I actually shot the uh, padlock with a handgun. And I can show you this right here. Um, there it is with the bullet actually sticking in it, plastered to the thing. You can see how it's deformed there like that. Should probably um, let me do it this way. Stop sharing. OK, there. Now you can see it a little bit better. Master right there. You can see how it knocked the thing out <laughs> one shot so um i can shoot pretty good okay there's the back you can see how it's bulged like that um i've been practicing with rifles for a very long time and i and i look at that and i think okay how can you shoot a man's ear at 100 meters with a 556 i don't care how precision target grade barrel heavy barrel whatever no way there's just no way so that means um let me do it this way here okay um 
That means either he was shooting to try to kill Trump and he missed and grazed his, his ear. Or it was me, or he tried to shoot near him like an attempt and uh, and ended up hitting him. Like it wasn't trying to hit him. He just wasn't trying to hit him in the head. He just was trying to shoot in the general vicinity or something like that. But either way, I'm thinking, okay, this, I don't know how this works out. And then seeing this and I'm thinking, okay, this had to have been, there had to have been talk here. There had to have been a plan. But I'm thinking, how can you? make this shot i mean the, the chances the physics of it are almost impossible you know i mean again a five five six round depending on the type of bullet that it was um i don't have any in here right now but depending on the, the kind of bullet that was used if it was you know some kind of a you know just re regular full metal jacket okay it would punch a hole through it wouldn't really expand much but if it was some kind of like a ballistic tip bullet or there's other types of five, five, six rounds, it would have blown his ear right off and it would have done damage to the side of his head. So I was thinking, I don't know. And here's where my theory is different than most others. There's something in wrestling, professional wrestling called blading. Okay, here's uh, Rick Flair, I think. And what these guys would do is that they would actually, they would sneak out, sneak a razor blade in to the, with their little elastic cuff that the wrestlers wear on their wrist, you know, and then when they get some guy to be hitting them on the head or whatever, and the guy'd fall down and he'd go like this, and he'd pull the razor blade out and he could go like that and cut his forehead, put the razor blade back in, and then the guys, you know, bleeding and things, and the blood's running down his head, and they're like, oh, he's busted open, he's been busted open, you know, that's professional wrestling, which you know I could do the little search here and show you that Donald Trump has been involved with the professional wrestling thing as well. He went out and he was, you know, doing things on the mat with uh, Vince McMahon and all this other stuff, you know, wrestling around and knocking each other over the head and all this stuff. Hmm. So again, how do you make a shot to hit the guy's, his right ear up in here to hit that and not hit the head, not hit his face and whatever else. What if the shot was completely over his head? And you see Trump and he goes like this, like that, and falls down. And that's all you see. You don't see blood flying. What if he hit the floor and did the thing, cut his ear, or a Secret Service, you know, one of the people, cut his ear like that? They do it to their forehead. But see, he couldn't cut his forehead because, oh, he got shot in the head. Well, that wouldn't work. So how would you do it? Hmm. And there's probably some occult stuff there too, with you know Peter and he cut the servant's ear off, you know, and the Lord healed it. There'll probably be you know charismatics, you know, that'll probably come out with that or something. Too. <laughs> um, I you know I have no idea here, and you know God could be orchestrating the whole thing, making it all happen as a way to bring in the alt right to fulfill Bible prophecy. That's a possibility. I don't know. Okay. Um, it's just very, very weird. Uh, but um, one other thing I wanted to put in here just as kind of just to, you know, make you further, you know, scratch your head. Um, I was telling my son about this movie back in, uh, what was it, 1988. They live with Rowdy Roddy Piper, another professional wrestler. Um, <laughs> uh, and I was telling them about this whole thing that that's, you know, the aliens have taken over and they're, can, they're basically out walking around among the people and they have a television station that's projecting things that, you know, makes people think that they're regular people when they're actually aliens and they put glasses on and you can see all the stuff of, you know, all the propaganda that's everywhere around them. And, you know, the infamous state, you know, thing where this guy puts his cash out and rowdy roddy piper's got the glasses on he looks down and, and the cash says this is your god you know which it is to a lot of people um but uh i was telling telling him about this and i said that there's this scene where they're underground and things and i said i'll show you this scene here quick uh and i showed it to oliver and it starts out with he makes a statement and it just blew my mind i thought what i don't remember that part and again 
I'm a Christian. I believe in, you know, what the Bible says about abstaining from all appearance of evil and whatever else, but I'm trying to bring this out as a way to say they do plan this stuff. Okay, I'm not recommending you watch movies. Please understand. All right. Um, but listen to what this guy says about when these aliens are going to be taking over. The year. Here we go. Our projections show that by the year 2025, not only America, but the entire planet will be under the protection and the dominion of this power alliance. By the year 2025? that America will be under the uh, direction and, and control, basically, of this power alliance. <laughs> Ooh, that's weird. Very weird. They're setting up Trump. You know, and I'm watching some of the reports. Oh, it's pretty much, you know, assured that, that uh, Trump is going to be elected now and, and everything else. You know, yeah. And I was off. I'll admit I was off my thought on this whole thing right here. If you watch the video, I said, I believe that they're going to put Trump in. Uh, it was made way back, you know, years ago. It was made before the Biden-Trump, uh, you know, little game thing that they did there years ago. Um, and I said, I think that uh, they're going to put Trump in. And I was wrong. I, I didn't see Biden being put in. But, you know, they wanted to further destroy the country and further inflame the right. So now, um, now they have this whole... Uh, Trump is the savior thing. He's been spared by God. He's God's man and everything else. So um, I don't know. Uh, definitely leave your com your thoughts in the comments section down below. Um, you know, it's crazy. Uh, just absolutely crazy. Uh, <laughs> so watch that video there. Uh, even mirror it onto your channel or something if you want to. Um, I don't think I have it on Rumble. I think that was before I was doing Rumble, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but check it out on this channel here, uh, King James Radio Ministries channel, and uh, or you know, a 100% uh, sure word of prophecy. Um, because like I said, they just took it down on my channel if you're just uh, joining us here. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, we ought to put your comment up here. It was Putin, obviously. <laughs> we we joke about that as a family. Well, anything goes wrong, we'll say it must have been Putin that did it. <laughs> it's Putin did this. So, um, yeah. Um, and you know, another thing I want to say too, and that is that this whole thing of the Secret Service uh, deal, you know, that's all these women and and whatever else. <laughs> Uh, that's a problem. I wouldn't want a bunch of uh, female Secret Service agents or whatever else. I mean, that's a, a job for men. Men, you know, like crazy. But um, so uh, I'm gonna quit here, I guess. But I just wanted to put this thing out and just say, um, you know, what do you do as a Christian in this situation? Uh, we have to pray. Um, we are here for a limited time and then the lord is going to catch us up and i have all the studies in the world to prove it this channel here um he has them in the playlist i think it's over 160 studies you know on the issue of the resurrection of the body of christ before the time of jacob's trouble i have proved that over and over again it's a comfort knowing that this is all leading to the lord saying okay the time for the church age the body of christ it's time to come home it's a it's a blessing. It's it's a, a blessed hope, a purifying hope. Can't think of the other hope. There's three of them. I've preached on that. Can't think of it right now. Um, but it's not something that we have to look forward to and just say, oh no, you know, this is terrible. This is going to be bad. It's they're going to come for Christians and whatever else. Um, we're to comfort one another with these words. So how far out is it into the future? I don't know. But it will happen eventually. And then the body of Christ is going to be going home. And the Lord's going to pour out his judgment on this wicked world. Um, all the Jews are behind this. The Jesuits are behind that. The Freemasons are behind this. The Bilderbergers. The Trilateral Commission. I just heard that uh, the Bohemian Grove thing, I guess, is going on right now, too, or something, I think. Or just the last couple of days or something like this. <laughs> I mean, 
all these screwballs, children of the devil. Um, just disgusting. Lord's going to take care of it all. Okay. The book of Revelation, all that's going on there. If you're newly saved, you read that, you go, oh boy, this is going to be bad to go through. But it's not for the body of Christ. It's for the nation of Israel because they rejected Jesus Christ. That's why it's the time of Jacob's trouble. Never forget that. Never let anybody take that uh, truth away from you. Understanding that the book of Revelation, revelation of Jesus Christ. Jesus has to be revealed to somebody. If you're saved, he doesn't need to be revealed to you. Okay, that's for the nation of Israel because they rejected it. That's why it's all stuff happening over in you know Israel, specifically in Jerusalem. That's why you have the two witnesses, Moses and Elijah, coming back, signs and wonders happening. It's all because the nation of Israel has rejected Jesus Christ and because they yoked up with Rome, the fifth kingdom that we are currently in. And the Lord's going to put an end to it. Okay, so wherefore comfort one another with these words. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do here. So. Just give you my thoughts on this whole thing. Um, just, uh, I still can't believe it. It's just crazy. Um, again, just to say this for those who are just tuning in, I see new people coming in. Um, my theory on this whole thing is there's no way, I mean, even a mistaken shot going through the right ear, you know, that's questionable. I think personally that it's uh, this professional wrestling stuff um you know i'll just type in something here quick see if i can find this um oh, i typed it into the wrong thing let me just do this uh a man that i've been compared to <laughs> which i kind of get it a little bit but they say you know oh you look like mick foley you know um Okay, let me do it this way here. You know, there's Trump at the wrestling thing. There he is, you know, which looks ironically very similar to what he did after the whole thing happened there. I think oh, come on, Brian, they wouldn't they wouldn't do his, you know, he wouldn't puncture his right ear or cut his right ear really bad. They wouldn't do a thing like that. Why not? You know? So, but uh, Mick Foley made the statement the one time, another professional wrestler, and he said, the real world is faker than pro wrestling. Never forgot that quote. Um, so, you know, look at the face here that he did, you know, look at that one right there and look at what he did after the whole shooting thing. Same exact uh, fight, fight, fight. Ignite the right. That's what's going on. Go check out my study over here. Since it's no longer on my channel, it's been up for years. It was fine, you know, to have it there, you know, all those years. Uh, it wasn't being shut down or anything else. Um, and now all of a sudden, right before the right igniting thing is really going to take off like an inferno. Oh, we have to take your study down. It's offensive. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I have to get back to work here. Uh Working on a bunch of different things. Yeah, kind of a little bit sidetracked on this whole Trump thing. So, but um, see everybody in future studies. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Stay with the King James Bible.